we're now joined by Roger Giles and Jasmine Pokwa, who were both elected last night. Well done on both of your successes. Um, so firstly, if you just want to explain to me um, your positions and your roles and what you do. Do you want to start? Uh, I have um, just been elected onto Student Council. Uh, so it's the job of the Student Council to make sure that all the sabbatical officers and the Students Union are concentrating their efforts on, on the right stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, just to make sure that campaigning uh, is keeping all the students across the university in line. Um, and just, yeah, just to keep them on track, really. And uh, there was 15 students elected for Student Council. Mm -hmm. There'll be seven more who will be appointed to represent uh, different groups of people. Uh, so there'll be a, a women's uh, councillor elected and, and that sort of thing. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Jasmine? I was elected as a vice president, so as a vice president you get given a school and you'd be taking care of that school and the problems they have in that school. Mm -hmm. There are three vice presidents and one president in the sabbatical offices, so yeah. Um, what do you think made you stand out from other um, candidates? So what really do you think made you, well, successful? And Probably the fact that I was just spamming Facebook all the time. Um, <laughs> uh, I mean, I was my main focus was to uh, represent the students of Media City. Um, mm -hmm. We're fifteen percent of of the university students that haven't had a voice uh, in the students' union since moving here. Uh, so that was that was my my main push, and I'd like to think that's the main reason I I got elected in. Okay. Why do you think student politics are so um, important? Because it helps involve students in all aspects of the university and basically as an elected member the students voice are essentially your voice mm -hmm. so that's why it's important and I know most of them don't feel like there are changes made but if they do complain we do try and help with those changes so yes. Um, what do you think are the main challenges facing students of 2013? Um, I mean, we've had the, the rise in, in fees. Yeah. That's, that's something that a lot of people are concerned about and with the possibility that they're going to go up even more in the next few years. Do you uh, think that will prevent students from wanting to come to university? I mean, it's, it's definitely, statistics have shown that it's definitely this year, because I, I believe it was, this is the first year that the, the fees have come down, yeah. um, that a lot a lot less people have, have applied and, and come to university. Uh, and I think it's assumed that this rise from 3,000 to up to 9,000 is the, the main cause of that. Mm -hmm. Have you always known that you've wanted to you know, go into politics or student politics? And um, yeah, I study international relations and politics now, and I wouldn't mind being a humanitarian or a politician when I'm older. Mm -hmm. So this is definitely a thing I want to go into. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I know you said that you kind of rammed Facebook with everything, mm. but did you use any other methods of, you know, ad advertising or marketing to kind of get your voice out there and get it heard? Yeah, you probably um, you you might have seen a few posters of mine around, um, and a lot of leaflets were strategically left on tables <laughs> or forced into people's hands as they walked past. Um, but yeah, oh, that's sort of what I kept to. I know a lot you, of. Yeah, um, basically I put bed sheets everywhere <laughs> <laughs> saying great for Jasmine and I left my posters in computer rooms because when they're on the computer they could see and be like, oh, I might as well vote now. And then they Was just that a kind of a running kind of thread with other candidates? Did they do quite a lot of that or do you think the reason why you were voted is because you did so much marketing and into promoting your image? I, th I love... So uh, for Student Council, there was 18 people running for the, the 15 places mm -hmm. and only nine, nine out of the 18 uh, submitted publicity and everything. So, I mean, not everyone was uh, so much put, putting themselves out there. Mm -hmm. But I mean, for the roles of like vice president or president, I mean, you're going to want let, to let people need to know who you are. And yeah. I mean, that's, that's how you, you got in and everything. Yeah. Okay, so like a final major question, can you make a difference? I can. I believe I can. How? I believe I could go out and talk to the students, because last year I didn't really know who the sabbatical officers were mm. till about three months just before the elections. Mm -hmm. So I will make an effort to go out more, to mm -hmm. talk to students, see what they want. Mm -hmm. 
and try to change that. Okay. Ready to make a difference. <laughs> right, okay, thank you very much. Thank you.